All right, how do we get more confident when we're playing music, when we're performing music? That's what we're going to get into. Hey, I'm Isaac Shano Johnson. If you don't know me, I'm a musician, composer, producer, and I make videos about all that fun stuff. Music, music composition, music production. So make sure you hit that subscribe button to see videos like this in the future. How do we get better at playing with confidence? Well, this can be really difficult because when you first start, at least if you're like me, you know you don't sound good and you don't want people to hear you sounding bad. So then you don't have any confidence playing in front of people because why would you want people to hear you sounding bad? Well, you need to. Play in front of people. That's what'll help. That's it. <laughs> the whole video, this whole video is gonna be about playing in front of people, will make you more confident playing in front of people. So if that's all you wanted to hear, click off this video. I got tons of other videos you could see. Hopefully those are more useful for you. Hopefully you enjoy mo those more, but play in front of people. The more you do it, the better you get at it. I know that kind of just sucks as advice, but if we're talking about performing in front of people and being comfortable performing in front of people, the thing that makes you more comfortable performing in front of people is performing in front of people. That's it. So a while ago, I started playing keyboard and music directing at a youth theater program, an after school theater program where we would play through two musicals a year. And I didn't study piano. When I went to Berkeley, I studied guitar. That was my principal instrument was guitar. And I majored in majors, composition and film scoring that were made easier by playing piano. And I had to learn piano. So I practiced a lot of piano and I got pretty good at piano. And when I came out here, I got a job playing keyboard at this youth theater program and music directing. So I had to play piano and direct the kids with how to sing these songs. And I was terrified when I first started. I was terrified. I did so poorly in the audition. But for whatever reason, the director went with me as the music director. And so when I showed up, I was absolutely terrified. I got the scores two weeks in advance. Uh, we were playing Grease and Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland was hard. Grease was also surprisingly hard because the music wasn't complicated, but it was fast and I had to do a lot of stuff. But I showed up and I was terrified. I played there. Every rehearsal was terrifying to me because I was so scared that I wasn't going to play well or I was going to play something poorly or I, I, I wasn't going to sound good or I was going to make the director regret her choice of choosing me as the music director, as the piano player. I don't work there anymore because it closed because of COVID, but I played there for three years. So obviously they didn't regret choosing me as the music director, as the piano player. By the time I was done, we did Susical the Musical, and <clears throat> before that we did Beauty and the Beast, and I looked through the scores before that, but some of the songs I was sight reading. And uh, I did get better at piano from playing there and from learning two musicals a year, but I also got a ton more confident. My confidence got way better faster than my piano playing. <laughs> so what helped? Well, doing it. Showing up every Wednesday, every Thursday at 4 p.m., and playing through rehearsal for two hours, showing up the next day, showing up the next week, bringing the next book of music, asking questions about how stuff was supposed to be played, listening to the music, reading through it. Every week, playing through it helped. And it might take a while, it might take three years, but that might be what it takes and it will be worth it once you're there. If you want to have confidence when you're playing, when you're performing, when you're playing in front of people, you want to feel good, you want to feel comfortable in what you're doing, you're gonna have to do it. No matter how good you are on your own, you're not gonna be feeling better in front of people if you're never in front of people. And trust me, I went to, <laughs> I went to Berkeley and I practiced guitar a whole lot and no amount of practice on my own helped me feel better in front of people. What helped me feel better in front of people when playing guitar was playing in front of people. And it's terrifying. It's absolutely scary. <laughs> it is real bad the first time you do it. But the second time you do it, it'll be a little better. Third time will be even better. Tenth, fifteenth, twentieth, hundredth time you do it will be a ton better than that first time where you were terrified. Sometimes you'll mess up. And then you'll go to ask the person recording a video of your performance of Alice in Wonderland how it sounded, and they'll be like, what do you mean? It sounds awesome. And you'll be like, really? 
it's kind of hard to play. And they'll be like, I don't know about that, but you make it look easy. Eventually that'll happen and you'll get there and you'll realize that you're a lot better than you think you are. That fear of being in front of people, it's only because you're uncomfortable being in front of people. It's not because anything about your abilities. It's you're not familiar with having other people hear you. That's where you're not comfortable. It's not the playing. It's not the notes. It's not the rhythms. It's not the harmonies. It's not the technique. It's the situation. You're not comfortable playing while other people are there with you. You're comfortable while you're playing there by yourself. So get out and play in front of people. Now, we can't do that right now because of COVID, but what can you do instead? Record yourself. You can record yourself playing. And I know it's not the same thing. It's not, it's really not, but it's very similar. I've recorded myself playing piano for lots of stuff. I made <laughs> almost a video a day. I almost achieved my goal of a video a day during December for Christmas music. Go check out the playlist. But I also recorded myself playing lots of other songs like uh, If I Can't Love Her from Beauty and the Beast or Hercules, Go the Distance. I made a video for that. I also made a video for Tomorrow from Annie. And I made all these videos and the more you record yourself playing, the more comfortable you'll get playing. And the more you'll realize that sometimes your mistakes don't sound like mistakes. They don't sound as bad as you think they do. So record yourself. That's what you can do for now, at least, until performances are more common. So there's a quote from the actress Carrie Fisher that I like to remember and I like to tell my students when they tell me about confidence while performing or recording and when I think about confidence when performing or recording. And it goes like this. Stay afraid, but do it anyway. What's important is the action. You don't have to wait to be confident. Just do it and eventually the confidence will follow. And as far as I've seen, as far as I've experienced, that's very true. You're gonna be scared when you do it at first. It's gonna be terrifying. Do it anyway. Do it anyway. Because that is what will give you that confidence to do it again. You'll realize, hey, that didn't go as bad as I thought. That went pretty well. Yeah, I think I can do that again. And then you do it again. And that cycle continues until you realize one day, wait, I don't have that fear of being scared of people hearing me sight read a piece from a musical I've never heard before. I don't have that fear anymore. Sure, you can hear me sight read this piece. So what? And then you play it all right. It's not great, but you're not terrified. <laughs> and the second time you play it, it sounds a lot better. So those are my tips for how to gain confidence when you're performing or recording or having other people hear your music or hear you perform music. So I hope that video is useful. That's it. I hope you found this useful. I hope you learned something about music. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button if you did learn something about music. And as always, thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Peace.